So today we're getting some Culver's and it had to happen. Listen, the Frisk family and T, they both had it last, they had it like twice last week and then Beloved did it today. So I was like, oh, it's going down. Um, so thank you for Grace. Dear Holy Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishment of our bodies and health in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, he has a cheddar double. I have um, a spicy chicken sandwich with fries and cheese sauce. I also have, um, what else I got? A Swiss burger and then uh, cheese curds. And we did get some shrimp because that shrimp was looking real good. So hopefully y'all can see. Hopefully y'all doing good. Um, I have to do the W fry. Got some Dr. Pepper and some Pepsi. Hope you all can see I was having technical difficulties trying to get the camera right. This one looks better. Okay. Just ain't working out. So, yeah. I don't think, I don't know if I got a chicken sandwich the last time I came. And again, everything that they was eating just looks so good. So I was like, oh, it's, it's definitely going down. Mm. Everything is so fresh. Dr. Pepper is really good. Yeah, I don't think they gave it that barbecue sauce. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm lying. They did. Oh, no, it's a cocktail sauce. Not the cocktail sauce. You want to try a cheese curd? Cheese curd is good. They taste like mozzarella sticks. I'm probably going to try that. Mini mozzarella. Talk about what you were talking about yesterday. Oh. I'm gonna eat some of her. I promise y'all, we're out there. So don't think the coronavirus is real. They ain't making all this up. This is what Trump's saying. He wants us to go back to school. And they're telling us, like, there's a lot of lies that have been killed by this thing. This thing's unstoppable. It's not unstoppable. They put no, no sauce or nothing on this. It's still good though. Y'all know I love food, food. I think I told y'all uh, the last time I did Culver's that I don't live. This Culver's is like at least 15 minutes away from me. <laughs> Maybe longer, but it took us longer today. And the line was a little long, but um, what my point saying now? Maybe you say that we. That's why we decided to eat in the car. <laughs>
I just saw Dr. Pepper with this, so I got it. Because this Dr. Pepper is pretty good. Yeah, this one is really close to the our zoo. How many sizes does the bubby have? Fifteen. I just don't want it to come on like it did when I ha was eating that chicken and fries. The the radio had just uh, started playing. By yourself? Mm -hmm. It had unmuted. That's what it did to us right then. It, it put itself on FM and still muted itself. Um, I'm going to try these, these scramps. I only got three. The guy was talking about he ain't want one. But look at them, they look. I don't know no, if you can see it, but you should be able to see that they look real crunchy. I had a fish sandwich last time I came here. That was good. You said what, guy? You don't know. I don't know that. You want to eat what? These are good. These are good. <clears throat> well, my shrimp was from the stove. But it's good. Good job. Lettuce aren't good either. I don't know, y'all. I think uh, we're getting somewhere with this baby bear weenie. I think he's like really getting stuff in his mouth now. Oh, Russian? Mm hmm. And actually eating stuff like yesterday. For the video I posted today, he um ate a good amount of that food, I feel like. I mean, it was some on the floor, but wasn't a whole lot like when we first started. And I don't know, it seemed like he ate a lot. I'm still not expecting him to eat a whole lot, but oh, sure, that's good. Yeah. Very crunchy. Very good. I'm gonna add some of my napkin stash in here. I let a good napkin go to waste. You just don't. Oh, I'm lying. Let me take that back, Culver's. My bad. Y'all did give me that barbecue sauce. My bad, I didn't even mean to stand to slander your name like that. Did you want to barbecue sauce with your onions? You, you don't want no sauce with your onions? Ketchup or nothing? Mm -hmm. I don't know whose child he is again because I eat food on everything. 
literally everything. I'm no child. Are you sure? We look alike. Are you sure? Uh. Are you sure? Were you there? Yeah. Were you there when I had you? Yeah. You know. You know. What did Y'all know? know. What did I know? That she my mother. You said in your first video. Did I say that? This is my first? son. Is that what I said? What's the evidence? That I'm your son. I don't think that's going to hold up before it picked up. You can you ate choose a you gotta choose a fry. How many fries you got now? You, you gotta choose a fry. Mmm. <laughs> mm. You gotta choose a fry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all see this? Do y'all see you? Gavin gonna try to take advantage of me while I ain't looking. <laughs> you sure you want a barbecue sauce? I love Amy Ray's barbecue sauce. You sure? All right. Mm. It was crazy. Mm, the barbecue sauce definitely slapped on me. Here the lie to you. What did you do? No more burp burp wine. Mm -hmm. Are you down with your burger? Ain't you gonna eat the rest of that or what? There's no more bread. What? There's no more bread. Boy. It's gone. No, it's not. Oh. Well, you the one that be eating burgers it's a crazy. Burner. It had to die. Let me just take the, the lid off of this, cause I'm gonna eat another fry. Oh, the fries in there is dip. Let me uh, pull that out, and you can have that one. Oh, I was gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna tell, boy, you better quit playing. Excuse me. Stop. Okay. Just don't eat all the fries. I'm gonna save some for Okay. Let me just back down with a little last part. So good. So, a couple things. One, I forget what video. I think I was watching a video with um, Darius, Dalvin, and Nicole, and Dalvin was talking about how. Nicole said that she basically like is tired of food or whatever. And not in the sense that 
I don't know. I I was literally feeling the same way that day because it's not like I'm like I like to eat, but doing videos sometimes it's just like, well, dang, you know, you want to. Sometimes I just want to eat, you know, certain stuff. Which most of the time, as y'all can see, I eat whatever I typically craving or want to eat or whatever. But sometimes um, you want to eat, you know, specifically something that'll do well you know what i'm saying like a you know create a video that do well although honestly you really don't know you can't really predict how well your video could do because sometimes uh most of the time videos that you wouldn't even expect to do well do crazy well like for example the first brownie video we did that video smacking views like probably one of the most viewed videos that i have on my channel and I did not think that that would do. I, I didn't think it would it would go that well, really. But I guess just just the way the cookie crumbles, you know what I'm saying? Like people just really like that. Mm. Um, I guess the Swiss one. This barbecue all done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, tell me which fries you're feeding to him. Then. Okay. Then I get the hard ones. Stop, bro. Yeah, he tastes like, oh. Oh, who's going to tell I feel like the first couple ones I ate. It looks like they have white cheese on them. Mm -hmm. Like mozzarella cheese, that's why they reminded me of uh, mozzarella sticks. I love Dr. Pepper and Sprite now. I don't know about Pepsi. Well, actually, I always love Pepsi before even Sprite. And I like Coke. Put this in. Excuse me. Yeah, man, you just never know how your video is going to do. But you want to do something entertaining or what have you? I don't know. I just got it, and and because because I do everyday videos, and I didn't have any videos in the chamber, I've been having to actually do a video every day, and that can get tiresome because you just really want to just eat some days, you know. But I right, make sure I got a video for the next day. And like I said, while I'm at home. Did, did today you just want to eat? Okay. Mama. No, today I knew I was going to Oh, you want that fry? Okay, so those are the ones you get into? Yes. Why are you calling his fries? Dang, he said back up off his fries, cuz. Never even said. That's what he said. Never oh, okay. Said so, mama, yeah, some mama. of these got white cheese and some of them got yellow cheese. But yeah, some days you do. I do just want to eat. Like I don't want to have to worry about doing a video. But if I don't have a video for the next day, then I got to do a video. And then for a while, I was only eating like once a day. And sometimes I still do. Today I may eat more than once just because it is earlier in the day today and I might get hungry later on. But, um, you know, you eating a lot of food and I just, you know, ain't trying to gain a whole bunch of unnecessary weight or whatever. So, I'm trying to be conscious about this thing, so, you know. I'm not like scarfing a whole bunch of food down for a mukbang and then, you know, eating again. So,
Oh, you got a couple fries in your shirt, don't you? Mm-hmm. He came out with a whole lot of stuff. He's like, ah, oh, brother. He's like, brother, this is this is nothing. It is something, Grayson. You had all these fries. <laughs> so yeah, that was one time. Or maybe I was two two of the things combining one. But I really feel being tired of food for real. I mean I don't even want to eat nothing for real because for me sometimes it's just you just don't know what to eat. So I'm not gonna eat nothing at all. <laughs> but I can't do that because I need to make a video. At least you got covers because we haven't been to covers since the, the second grade or the third. I don't know. I haven't been to covers since the third or second grade. No. That was this year. This year. While I was on maternity leave. So I remember I was doing a video and then Gavin came home. I told y'all because I had just, just got back. Two seconds later? Well, no, not two seconds later, but I had, it hadn't been, I wasn't home for long. And then I was doing a video and I was like, Gavin's gonna bust in here. And sure enough, he did. But I had got him something. Like, you got something without, you doing a video without me? She knew. She knew it was going to happen. And if you, hopefully y'all can hear me because I didn't use my mic today because last time I, when I used my mic, it was just, the sound was crazy. I didn't even know it was going to sound like that. So I decided not to use my mic today. But I typically, I think most of my car move bones, I ha well, one time in the wintertime we used the mic, but for the most part we haven't used the mic. Well, I guess I could have put it, um, like on the, the vents like I did the one time. But in any event, I'm sure, uh, hopefully y'all can hear us good. And see us good. Um, was gonna say. Oh, I think I did want to finish my thought from yesterday real quick. Um, Me so too. I was telling you, you already did. Um, oh, yeah, I did. You know, I gotta look around, see what the what are the uh, what are first responders is that I don't see them. But anywho, um. So I was telling y'all I had unfollowed two people. So the first person was the chick that I used to work at the hospital with. She posted that list of trash, so I unfriended her. And then another girl. Now I had posted I had posted a post that was basically like, you know, anything that anything that you doing other than voting for uh Biden, excuse me. My nose. Sorry, y'all. My nose is just itching. I promise I wasn't being my nose. Um, any, for in my personal opinion, anything that you do other than voting for Biden in this um, upcoming season is a vote for 45, period. Now, you know, it would be nice to... Uh, someone posted, comment under the post and was just like, you know... And then the list of those things includes uh, saying that you're not going to vote, period. Saying that you're going to vote third party or green party. Uh, writing in Kanye. Voting for Kanye. Uh, or writing in any other candidate besides the two main ones, right? So that was the gist of the post or whatever. And one of my... Uh, 
it's a family friend or whatever. He was like, you know, we got to get out of this two party system. You know what I'm saying? And that's all very fine and well. He was like listing all this stuff about how, you know, it's not, it doesn't take that much to really instate a, a third party or green party or whatever like that. And I was like, that's all very fine and well. And you know, it's ideal. it would be ideal to not always only come down to two people, you know what I'm saying? But realistically, we know that historically, it usually is down to these two people, right? And because I feel that the need is imminent for 45 to be up out of here, we can't experiment with this one, okay? I feel like I was telling, I told him, I was like, you know, we just get to a point where people are even getting out to the polls, period. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people, probably the last election or whatever was their first time voting and stuff like that. And we just can't chance it for real. I feel like the need is 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 is, is very dire, okay? Um, and I was like, you know, it, it ain't gonna happen overnight. You know what I'm saying? Like people don't even really understand. A lot of people don't even understand the ins and outs or whatever. Still, again, there's so many factors that like you know would need to take place. A lot of education before we can get to that point. But right now is not the time to be trying to experiment with this. Okay. Um, so that was one. Then the girl that I unfollowed, she she commented, and this was, isn't why I unfollowed her. I actually was fine with her commenting on this. It was a post that she made, which I'll tell you about that in a second. But um, when she commented, she said, you know, why is it um, why is it not okay for people to genuinely not like Biden? And I said, listen, honestly, a lot of people that will vote for him, a lot of the people that are voting for him are not voting for him because they like him. Period. They're voting for him because you would rather have him. It's the lesser of two evils. You rather have him over forty-five, okay? And I mean, that's just what it is. Like, I would, ne I wouldn't necessarily like not like to have him as um, an option. But here we are, people. So you know, whatever. Um, I actually was really hoping my man Bernie, you know, what I'm saying, would have made it all the way through, but you know that didn't happen. So you know, here we are. Uh, I know I damn dang for sure ain't voting for 45, and I know that doing anything other than voting for Biden is a vote for him, and you know what I'm saying, that's incredible, because you know his people gonna come out in hordes, okay, to vote, or whatever, and we gotta do just the same to overcome that and stuff like that, so, you know, that was my whole point, she was just like, and I was like, and then she said, what else did she say? After I had, so my initial response to her was just like, you know, a everybody who most of the people that are going are in favor of Biden probably wouldn't like to have would not like to have him as an option but he is the option to get 45 out right so then um and I'm sorry in advance my apologies for this whole this conversation or whatever I know it's highly political and some people don't like to talk about politics and stuff like that um so I'm not uh, forcing my views on anybody or whatever this is just my personal opinions um so that was my initial comment was just like, you know, wouldn't like to have a magic option, but here we are. This is what we got to do. And it's either him or 45, period. So then she was just like, you know, well, you know, I'm, I, I basically she was saying that she was in favor or she would rather have him over Biden or whatever, because at least 45 is up front with, you know, his antics and the way that he is or whatever, you know, his racism and stuff like that and other stuff. And I was just like, I cannot believe that you, she was like, I'm not a supporter, but she would rather have him than Biden. I'm just like, y'all are crazy. Like, how could you say, I was like, how could you say that you'd rather have like a lying, racist, sexist, uh, treasonous, like, all the things, you know what I'm saying? The list goes on. Person over over Biden, like for really, like what did Biden? I mean, now, okay, if we want to be real, Biden has not always been for minorities and black people. Some of his uh, vote voting towards policies and some of his policies that he has introduced into legislation um, have not have been to the detriment of black people and uh, unfavorable for sure. Okay, but his platform now, he has. A platform for black people and are is working with other um what do I want to say other politicians who are in favor of 
to black people. So, you know, all we can do is is hope. But I know one thing, because I know what 45's intentions are, I would rather not have him, you know, in office. I mean, and he's currently like, or has always incited racism and race wars or whatever, like encouraging his supporters to be blatant and open with their racism and you just don't want that person at the top of the house or whatever um given that energy another thing she said was that you know we have to focus she's like you know i'm not too concerned about this i'm more so concerned about local and state um elections primaries basically that's fine in this case we need to be concerned about the top of the house sometimes it doesn't matter but i feel like in this case we need to be concerned because not only is it just about 45 but it's also about the people that 45 has been allowed to uh put into high offices or whatever case in point bessie devos horrible for education she is literally terrible and like the fact that she's trying to penalize people schools for not sending kids back to schools like what do you mean like so it's okay for you to stay home or it's okay for you know uh people to stay home as a result of the corona but it's not okay for kids to stay home where okay maybe children aren't as susceptible as you know with the information that we have now aren't as susceptible or you know aren't getting as sick as some of the severe cases we've seen or whatever but still we know that children are carriers for a lot of diseases and germs and stuff and you would rather put not only children at risk their teachers at risk all the staff in, in the schools at risk plus all their fam the children's family at risk just because you want people to go back to school like how selfish is that you know what i'm saying and it's like probably his kid ain't gonna go back to school his kids are grown but i'm not talking about him i'm talking about bestie's votes um but you know it's just terrible and then um hang on i lost my train of thought hold on don't say nothing wait what about what I don't lost my train of thought, but uh, yeah, just she's horrible for education. And the girl that commented is currently pregnant with a child. And I'm just like, you know, I didn't specifically say that, but I was just like, what I said was people who who he's been allowed to appoint, and people who are never who are not qualified to be in the positions that they are in. So, uh, what's his name? Ben? What's his name? Ben? Some the guy that's over hood or whatever is a doctor. He has no experience. Bessie DeVos has no experience in being over education. And you could clearly see that as a thing of, you know, regarding the things that, um, and policies that she has put in place, like really just ruining education. And that stuff is important, me, important for me for a number of reasons, obviously, because I value education. I value my child's education or what have you. And like, you know, just doing dumb stuff. You feel me? And you will hope that this is stuff that can be reversed or whatever, you know, in the, in the years to come and stuff like that. So, you know, you want them people out of there because he appointed them people. So I said that or whatever. And I mean, yes, I think every, every time you can utilize your right to vote, you should do it every time um and you got we got to do research too or whatever you know because you know i think a lot of I've, I've talked about this before or i don't know i maybe just talking to my friends but you know a lot of people um what was i gonna say i don't know just it's important to utilize your voice in every every uh election or what have you so um i forget she she did go on to comment after that or what have you i can't really remember i actually one of them she was like you know i can't believe you would want uh i don't know then she was talking about she was conflicting in 2016 and i'm so sick of people and them dang old emails about hillary when y'all see all the stuff that this man did and has done and y'all was mad about hillary and some damn emails are you kidding me like Y'all gotta be stopped. Seriously have to be stopped. Like, cause I'm pretty sure that she wouldn't have done what, what he has done in this country thus far in these four years. And uh, home, I mean, just like the childishness of him, like to really come in and try to undo everything that uh, Barack Obama did, all the good stuff that he did or whatever, just 
just trying to undo it just because just because not for any sound reason than other than trying to do everything that he undo everything he did we have better things and other things that we need to be focused on and that's what you choose to focus on is undoing everything that he did come on now we no, it's ridiculous um but again, y'all worried about them damn emails, but look what look what uh that happened now or whatever, you know. So that's one thing. So that was our our um conversation and I was like, you know what? That's cool, you know, and I don't have a problem with people having different opinions than I do. I don't have a problem with that at all. I don't think I responded because one of the mess she sent two messages after my other response and I didn't I actually didn't see one of them. Um, but I just didn't um carry on the conversation or whatever. So then the other day she posted about um candace owens and she said i don't understand why people don't like her or whatever because from what i know she just come with straight facts and i said this is where it had to end this is where i had to end because she does not come with no type of facts or the facts she uses is skew is is used to skew uh and, and used to um to make her points or whatever um but using the wrong context you feel me like if you actually look up the facts or whatever then you will understand what they really mean or whatever like the facts that she uses she just using them to try and forward her agenda but they have nothing to do with really what she's talking about or whatever on top of the fact that she's a coon as well her and that terrence do or whatever and i and the reason i was saying something about the other post that i commented on is because I was gonna tell them that uh the tell the people in the thread with the guy that i knew that candace owens and this terrence dude are really just pawns or what have you to further the um racist narrative of of melanin recessive people and i'm not saying all melanin recessive people but the people who you know they just are pawns that are being used just the same way as Kanye. And that's why I feel like a vote for Kanye is another vote for 45 because that's his puppet. Like y'all done seen, he done been up in there buddy buddy with him all, you know, his whole term or whatever, him and his wife. And therefore, no, you can't, he can't be trusted or whatever. And the fact that homie got mental issues or whatever. So like, after he announced that he was running, then they was talking about he he. This was as a result of a a, a, a bipolar episode or whatever. Like, are y'all kidding me? And y'all really want this man to be in office? Y'all gotta be stopped now. Maybe I don't know about when, but before pre Kardashian Kanye, maybe. Okay, but not now. Heck no, nah, not now. Do y'all want the because who really gonna be running the country then? Damn Kardashians. Do y'all want them to more celebrities to be running the damn country? Hell no. Okay, so uh I'm just gonna tell I meant to tell him that they are basically pawns or whatever. But she was just she just kept like I was reading the comments under the post because a lot of people, you know, went up in there and was just like, Yeah, you know, some people were in agreement with her, which I'm just really confused, oh, but other people were just like, you know, nah, you know, basically trying to tell her the truth about uh, Candace and stuff like that. And uh, and then even, and then this is the thing, like people point out even stuff about 45, but they was pointing out stuff about Candace that she did and said, and she was like, oh, well, I ain't see that or whatever. And maybe she'll look into it. But other than that, I don't think she's bad. What do you mean? Like you just don't. You could just erase some of the stuff, but not remember. And, and the most of the majority of the things Forty Five does is, is really bad. Like I don't see no good. Really, I don't. Because even the stuff that he tried to use, like the unemployment rate, it was already declining before he got in office or whatever. So the stuff is the reason why is it well, it was low was as a result of the things that the Obama administration had put into place and did or whatever but he just trying to take credit for it and his little cronies is believing everything that he's saying he had nothing to do with it just like uh the stimulus check him wanting to put his name on the checks where that ain't he ain't had nothing to do with that and if it was up to him we wouldn't have got that stuff so what are y'all talking about oh i could go on and on and i've probably been rambling on a long time but those were the the couple things that i didn't get to finish yesterday that i said i was gonna finish today um but anywho that's it and that's all y'all thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave some comments down below let us know things you like to see us try things you like to see us cook interact with us because we do like to hear from you and subscribe to the channel go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell to get notifications the next time we post a video and we'll see you in the next one peace out